Welcome back to Don Critic. Today we're returning to Astro's Playroom, probably one of the most fun games I've ever 100% completed. And as a big surprise, Team Asobi have now updated the game with new hidden trophies, new secrets to find, and seven new artifacts to unlock from the Gacha Machine. I really wasn't expecting this game to ever see a new content update, but with the upcoming new Astro Bot game, which looks fantastic by the way, Sponge Astro, I haven't ever seen that before. I guess this is a new creative way to market your game and create even more hype for it by adding new content to the previous game to hold us over while we wait. So there are five new trophies to collect, all of which are hidden, so I'm not going to reveal those just yet, but let's jump in and see what is new. So upon starting up the game we get two new update notices telling us that a mysterious portal has appeared in the labo room, new gachas have been added, and a special bot has appeared in the GPU jungle level. There's also a link to the Astrobot pre-order on the main menu now. So this update is very much all about advertising that next game, which I personally think is a brilliant marketing strategy, especially for a single player game. New free content is new free content after all. So in the Labo Room we have this new lift that takes us down to the secret Labo Room and the artifact viewer that we access by smacking the pocket station has been expanded with seven new locked artifacts. We'll come back to those later. For now let's explore this secret Labo Room. We've got this portal which leads us to the Mission Room. There's Astrobots all working away much like I imagine the team of Sobi devs are doing right now. And a countdown to the new Astrobot game at the back of the room with a portal that too takes you to the pre-order screen for that game. And curiously, there are four platforms in front of the portal. So let's head back to CPU Plaza and let's find this special bot that is trapped in Render Forest in the GPU jungle level. You know, it feels awesome to come back to this game. I really have missed this incredible level of dual sense functionality. You know, every step, every time a platform moves or having to blow into the microphone, it all just feels so good. And so many PS5 games haven't used all the dual senses capabilities. So if you remember, there were these cracked walls that we can break in this stage that reveal the lyrics to the GPU song that plays, and you get like a special sound effect when you smash and reveal them. So I thought that this might have been how we find the secret bot. But I did this, completed the whole stage, collected every coin, defeated every enemy, and nothing. Nothing at all happened. Hmm. Well, the upcoming game does have a big focus on these special bots that are miming popular PlayStation games. So then I thought, what if it's actually connected to them? I went back, smacking and trying to interact with as many as I could reach. I hit the T-Rex, I hit Aloy from Horizon, I hit the Patapon Memorial, and just nothing was happening. Until by chance, I stepped into the bush behind the Bloodborne Hunter, and lo and behold, a new platform appeared. Heading over to it, it looked like Lady Maria from Bloodborne, and she was stuck in this pod that had a little clock on it. Well, how do I get it open? I went around and around and around the level, looking for anything with numbers, clock arms. I thought that maybe the plane might have had something to do with it, you know, because of the wings. I was trying, but jumping up the CDs and to the wooden platforms, I found a strange clock stuck in the trunk of this tree. I hit it a few times, nothing happened, so I assumed it wasn't part of it. But as I moved on, I thought, what if I had to interact with it a different way? I pressed a few different buttons until it was the options button that I had to press, which then took me to a date. I tried the dates that Astrobot releases on, didn't work, so then I thought what if I tried the release date of Bloodborne? And it actually worked! It would seem PlayStation hasn't forgotten about Bloodborne after all. And like that, Lady Maria was saved, my first of the new five trophies unlocked. So after that I assumed I was done with that stage and that there were three more secret bots hidden in the other levels. So I went to Memory Meadow next and no message popped up saying that there was one here, so I kind of just left it. It would seem that not all the secret bots have been added to the game yet, just Lady Maria, meaning that we'd have to wait to get the other trophies. 
In that case, I went back to the Labo room and remembered about the seven new artifacts. Well, first I'd have to get a few more coins. So I jumped into SSD Speedway, as this stage is the best to farm coins, and I blasted away dozens of bots with the machine gun. Once I had all the coins I needed, it was time to enjoy the new artifacts. I hope there's a gacha machine in the new game, or something similar, because I love how you like pull it down and the way the controller feels, it's really good. So first artifact that we have is the left PSVR 2 controller. I don't have one of these, but it does look super slick. Next, the DualSense Edge. I do have this one and it is an incredible controller and you can just change the analog sticks to save having to buy a whole new controller if you get that stick drift. Next, I got the right PSVR 2 controller. Then I got the Access controller. I don't have one of these either, but it is awesome that they made one of these. It looks really cool. Next, I unlocked the PSVR 2 headset. Looks a lot more comfortable than the first PSVR. Next, I unlocked the PlayStation Portal, which coincidentally I was using to play Astro's Playroom at the same time. It is a wicked device when it comes to streaming and the screen is incredible. And the final artifact was the PlayStation 5 Slim. I I still have my original PS5 but I do like the look of this one, very smooth design. And those were all the new artifacts, adding PS5's new peripherals. Crazy to think that they've released this much new hardware since Astro's Playroom first launched back in 2020. It's a lot of kit and you can go around the uh, secret room and interact with them all and hitting the portal will play the Astrobot trailer because of course it does. That is really cool though. Now going back to the mission room, we can now see Lady Maria sat in her chair waiting for Astrobot to release just like the rest of us, with three more empty spaces around her. Is this hinting that Lady Maria will have an appearance in Astrobot? That would be pretty damn cool. And who are you hoping that these other three secret bots will be? We have four more hidden trophies to unlock, and when the next ones get added, you can be sure I'll be here to cover them on Don Critic. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode. If you want to see any of my Platinum reviews, I've just started my new Platinum review series with Rallycross, the first PlayStation 1 classic of 2024. You can watch that on the channel right now. I'll leave a link to it in the comment section below and in the description. So take care and have a great day and I'll see you in the next episode.